Hey there, this is mini lesson number six and another quick grammar tip to help you speak better English right away. And today I'm gonna focus your attention on passive voice. Some people say, some teachers say it's not useful anymore and I disagree because you need passive voice in many situations. For example, when you're in more formal context, passive voice makes any sentence sound more formal. Um, moreover, you use passive voice when you don't want to mention the person who did something or when you don't know who did something or when it's not important, when it just doesn't make any difference who did that. It, it doesn't make any difference, so you don't mention that. So use passive voice for such situations. And let's repeat some sentences because I want this mini lessons to be practical. If this is the only English lesson you have during whole week, let's make it practical, right? Repeat after me. I wasn't invited. So in this sentence, I'm polite. I am... Um, I just don't want to mention the person. I don't want to point fingers. I don't want to say, she didn't invite me. He didn't invite me. It doesn't matter. I just want to say I wasn't invited. I don't care who didn't do this or I don't want to tell you who didn't do this. Second sentence. How is this word pronounced? How is this word pronounced? Number three. She's known for her great talent. So who knows her for her great talent? It doesn't matter. Many people, she's known for her great talent. He was seen in our city. He was seen in our city. Who saw him? I don't know. Somebody, it doesn't make a difference. He was seen in our city. What's important? And that's a great tip because I see lots of mistakes here. For passive voice, uh, to make it, you construct it with to be and um, past participle, which is not past simple. So you use uh, here the third column of the table, if you know what I mean, from your textbooks from school. Usually at the back of the book, you could see three columns of irregular verbs. So you want to focus here on the third column, not the second. So instead of saying went, you say gone. Instead of saying um, did, you say done and so on. Okay, I hope it helped a bit and I'm gonna see you really soon next Saturday. Bye-bye.